So we have a big new version of Fresh Store coming. Fresh Store version three is coming with a lot of new features and some big improvements to the store admin area. In this video, I wanna show you a preview of what's coming because I'm super excited to get it out to you. And yeah, I wanna see what your feedback is. And yeah, I just wanna share a bit of this with you. We will get this version out to you as soon as possible. It isn't available yet at the time of recording this video. But today we're gonna to take a look, we're gonna get excited, we're gonna take a look at a few things that are coming and some big improvements we've made. Let's get straight into it. This is the new admin area of the store or the improved admin area. You'll be able to see fairly similar to what was before, but we've made a lot of little tweaks, a lot of little changes. We've improved this left menu and made it more concise, more clear, more carefully laid out. The dashboard is new. We've added different things here on the dashboard that are more commonly used. And we can see the analytics that we've had before. Now, this is the first thing I wanna show you actually, the, the analytics, because we've actually made a lot of new um, additions here. As we click in, you can see we have reports, separate reports here. You can dig into these as the new version comes out. But we also have this um, list of visitors, which we've had before. Now you have the ability to click in and see what's going on with each individual visitor. Like for this one, you can see the location, you can see where they came from, what they clicked on, IP addresses. Also, yeah, what they've done in your store. So these actions are the pages they visited, the affiliate links that they've clicked, super cool stuff. As we go back in here, you can make changes here to how the, how the data is represented by date, by country. We wanna see our visitors from, for example, Australia, we can limit that. So there's a lot of new additions, a lot of things going on to discover. This is just a bit of an overview. Okay, let's take a look at something else. If we click into products now, we have grouped together the areas of your store related to products like the categories, the populators, the brands, the offers. So everything is now more carefully structured to make it more clear. We've improved almost everything in the admin area. So for example, this is the new product finder. If we choose Amazon and then we search for, I don't know, cheese. And we now have this much nicer layout. We have extra search options there, which are hidden unless you want to use them. This is more clear. We can see uh, directly on Amazon itself as before. We can import all the products and we can choose a category that we want to put them in. All the good stuff is there. It's just a bit better laid out. If we go back to new search, um, we can see all those extra options are under here for those of you who are looking for them. Okay, what else have we got? So articles, again, uh, this is something that we've added. So if you've made some changes and you haven't saved them, you will get a warning now. That's something that I think will make things a little bit less frustrating for people. Articles, yep, we've made improvements to the layout. When you edit things, you can see things a lot more clearly now. Um, Lots of things to discover. I'm just giving you a brief overview, but I want to show you the new generate articles section. So in here, we can now use, um, we can now create multiple articles at the same time. So for example, I want to create an article on uh, British cheeses, the topic of today is cheese. So we can choose, we can get the AI to do a lot more things for us now. Um, we can choose a keyword for SEO based on that, British cheese varieties. We can also use the AI to create an article topic for us completely out of, out of um, the niche that the story is set in, which in this case is coffee. And here's a really cool thing. We can add another article and we can create them all at once. And you can copy this existing one as well. So say let's, let's say I choose a category for this, um, publish day, we wanna create images. I click this copy here. We now have two articles being created and I can make some tweaks to the second one. For example, think of a new topic and I can do that as many times as I want. Now I realize I'm skipping over this quite fast because I want to give you a preview. We are going to do some guides to fully explain everything, but hopefully you can see the power there. This is about being able to create multiple articles at the same time and yeah, making it super easy for you. Okay, let's take a look at what else we've got. Um, analytics design, we've made a lot of changes here. So you now have the ability to choose your color scheme same as before. We now have everything a little bit better organized. So you can see in the left here, we have fonts and styling, which is new also. So we can now choose a new font for your store. And even better, if you choose it, you can take a look down here and see what it looks like on your store. So that's like a little preview, a little 
um, representation. So let's say I want to make the normal text bold. That's how it will look. I want to make the normal text open sans. Again, that's how it will look. So you can choose your headings, your subtitles. You can make a lot of changes here. We can align things in different areas. We can change the font size. So yeah, lots of cool stuff to play around with there. And the logo is separate now, has a bit more uh, clarity in terms of if you want to choose an icon, you can see all the icons. If you want to choose an image, then there it is. Uh, you can see the de default images for everything in these pop-up windows. Again, I'm rushing through this a lot, I realize, um, but I'd want to give you just a quick overview. So what else do we have? Links, options, images, we can change uh, text specific to, to products. Everything is a little bit more clear. You might have noticed as well, these forms are a little bit more clear. The, the help text is hidden away here if you need it, just to make things a little bit more uh, easy to see. Okay, settings, we have improved a lot of things here in settings as well. For affiliate links, we now have a much more clear um, setting area here. If you want to add multiple countries, you can do, but by default, there's only one. Um, yep, won't go into too much detail on this, but it's much more improved. The keyword research is a cool new thing that is coming as a new feature in this version. So this just lets you figure out some keywords and based on your niche or based on a starting keyword, once you have that, you can use those keywords to build articles, to build products, to build categories. So here we're looking at coffee keywords and from here we can have a look at the traffic, the competition, and we can create brands, categories, articles, find products. Uh, for example, click in there and we're going to get this automatically populated. Loads of cool stuff. Again, I'm skipping over this quite fast. Just want to show you a bit of a preview. Okay, search engines. Um, yeah, this is similar to before. We've got some settings here for how we index social media, content marketing, etc. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, and I won't, I'm not going to show you any more. I just wanted to give you that quick preview and quick overview. Um, oh, I'll show you AI chips as well, because this was something a few people asked for. Uh, you can see we, we need to tidy up a couple of things still. But as we go into this section, we have AI task history. So you can now see where your AI chips have been spent on different bits of content. Uh, this is me just using the, the admin area now and just a few bits and pieces that have been, um, sorry, that's here three minutes ago, 52 seconds ago. So you can see where the chips are going and yeah, get more of a, more clarity on that. You can order more chip packs, but you get plenty every month anyway. Okay, that, that's enough, that's enough. And yeah, I just wanted to give you that quick overview. This version will be coming as soon as possible. We're testing now. We also have other features coming, including ClickBank integration and a homepage that I didn't even show you, but you can redesign the homepage. You can change the order of things. Lots of cool stuff coming. I realize um, a lot of members have been voting on different features, which is fantastic. We have our roadmap here, which we'll just take a quick look at. This is where we decide on basically what we are, um, what we're gonna work on. So you can see all the votes that have been placed. I put some notes in here about what we're planning um, and what we're adding to this new version. Great stuff. I will leave it there on this video. Let me know your comments. Let me know your feedback. I love to hear it. I love to hear your suggestions. And yeah, I can't wait to get this version out. Okay, take care. Bye.